Hello AACC community. My name is Sean Patrick Moore and I am a second year student at AACC. In this episode you will have a chance to meet Dr. Suzanne Spohr, professor of English here at Anne Arundel Community College. You will also have a chance to learn about a few of the numerous things that are happening at your community's college, AACC. Welcome to this March edition of Cross Currents. And today in the spotlight, we're fortunate enough to talk with Suzanne Spore. Hi, Suzanne. Hi, Tama. <laughs> How are you? Great, I'm fine. And we're really excited to have an opportunity to talk with you and get to know you and present you to the college community. Thank you. What is your job title and what do you do? I'm a professor of English and Gender and Sexuality Studies, and I also co-direct something called the Curriculum Transformation Project, which uh, we set up um, workshops and seminars for faculty to, become, to come up to date with um, their scholarship, mostly in terms of diversity, gender, race, ethnicity, religion. And I also uh, direct the Women's Institute events, mm -hmm. and we uh, create events for Women's History Month. Why did you decide to go into the field of teaching and education? Well, I was kind of born a teacher. I didn't really have much choice. I, in fact, I'm not sure there's anything else I could do. I taught my stuffed animals and had a grade book and graded them when I was very small. Uh, I was an English major because I liked it the best. But the thing that really changed me was taking a black lit class. And in the 1980s, we called it black lit instead of African American lit. And um, I took this class, and my teacher showed me in the showed us in the literature that uh, you could change the world with words on a page, and that was very exciting to me. And so once I studied Black Lit, I was interested in uh, literature as social change. What do you love the most about Anne Arundel Community College? I love the college because it allows people to use a variety of their talents um, on committees and things like that and creating events. Um, and I also, the, probably the most important thing I like about AACC is that I really think the staff and faculty are dedicated to empowering students through education. I see it in the way that the systems are created and I see it with my colleagues in the classrooms and uh, we share that value, it's really important to me. What makes Anne Arundel Community College unique from other institutions where you have taught? I think I have noticed that the students here are more diverse than, say, a vocational school where I worked in Chicago or Georgetown where I taught for a while. Um, there's a lot of variety and it's always a blast to see who's going to show up in my classroom. One semester I had a white man who was maybe 24 years old coming back from Afghanistan uh, where he was serving uh, in the military right on the border of Pakistan. He was sitting right next to a Pakistani woman who was wearing a full chador. And uh, in the same class, I had a man who was in his 50s, an African-American man who served in the Navy during the 1980s. So right within those three students, we had all this variety and yet all this potential for connection. And so the diversity is really interesting and exciting to me. You're involved with Women's History Month. Why is that such an important passion for you? Uh, throughout my career, I've been working on issues of social justice, and so Women's History Month is a way for me to help create events that educate the um, community both on campus and off campus. So through the events, we hope to uh, raise awareness and raise people's consciousness about um, how women have uh, affected the world, and then we hope that that education will ripple out and create change in the larger community. What are some things that normally take place during Women's History Month? We have a couple of events that happen every year in Women's History Month. One is uh, the Vagina Monologues, which is directed by um, Carolyn Wilson and Heather Relihan. And before Carolyn, um, Professor Tara Makula was the director with Heather. And um, staff and community members and students uh, perform Eve Ensler's play. So that's something that we do every, every March, or we have for six or seven years. And then we often have the Art of Women, which is an art exhibit, which we will have again this year. And um, then other events uh, vary. Sometimes we have a slam poet or uh, a film documentary speaker or something else like that. 
So the title of the play is The Vagina Monologues. Right. Now, for some people, that might be shocking. Why is the word vagina used in the title? Evans are named it The Vagina Monologues because there is so much silence around the vagina. In fact, when we first tried to, uh, to advertise the vagina monologues on our marquee sign at the college, the computer would not let us put in the word vagina, and so we had to have the asterisk asterisk uh, monologues. But since then, um, things have become more sophisticated and we can actually use the word. Uh, but it's to, it's to break the silence. It's to allow people to celebrate something instead of have shame surrounding it. Can you tell us a little bit about the Women's Institute film series? It's the, the purpose is to educate the community on an issue that we feel needs to be raised. Uh, so for example, we've had um, a couple of semesters ago, we had a series on masculinity and issues of toughness and having to sort of have a, a macho guys. Uh, in the fall, we had a series on LGBT issues. And so uh, each series raises another issue. For people who might not know, what is LGBT studies? Um, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and sometimes we add Q for queer or questioning or, yeah. Um, queer studies is a whole body of theory which, uh, which theorizes how LGBTQ people are marginalized in our society is the simplest way to say it. How would your students describe you? I th uh, on my evaluations, my students often say that I'm funny, uh, but I'm not trying to be funny. So I don't know what that says about me. <laughs> <laughs> what is one thing that people might not believe about you? I'm not sure there's anything really. I think what you see is what you get. The, maybe uh, the fact that I like to use power tools and my mom gave me a chainsaw for Christmas, but I think that, that Everything else is pretty much right here on the surface. <laughs> a chainsaw for Christmas. Yes. I haven't had to use it yet because we haven't had any trees come down, so that's good. <laughs> Who is your favorite singer or musical group? Well, this is going to date me, but my favorite group um, is the Indigo Girls. And um, I had a dream one time that I was the third Indigo Girl. Um, it wasn't true. And I, and I also have an image of myself you know, aging with them, because each time I go to the concert, I imagine them the way that they were the year before, but they are aging just like I am. So maybe we'll all end up in a nursing home together singing their songs. <laughs> well, I want to thank you very much for joining us and being in the spotlight. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. And thank you for joining us here for the spotlight of Cross Currents. Have a wonderful March.
Thank you for watching this episode of Cross Currents. See you next time. Stay classy, AACC. Thank you.